Hey, it's Aurelius, welcome back to the channel. In this video, you're going to learn how to convert text to 3D model. So you've seen text to images and text to videos, but did you know you can actually convert text to 3D models? Well, check out some of these examples here. We've got this Ibis that looks quite realistic. Got this cute stuff dog as well. This Foxman and this koala head from Australia, which is where I'm from. Getting started is free and you can head to lumalabs.ai forward slash genie. Link will also be in the description box below. You'll see this page here and what you're going to want to do is sign up for a Discord account. So create on Discord. Works like mid journey with the prompts, but I'll show you how it works. Once you're in, do take a look at the welcome channel as well as the prompt guide then to get better results too. With Genie specifically, the prompt to enter is Genie. You enter any of the channels such as Genie 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 to enter your prompts. You can also see some examples in, in the Genie showcase. But let's head to Genie 1 and where it says message, simply enter forward slash Genie and then space and then anything you want, such as a bear holding a backpack or whatever you want to prompt Genie to produce. In this example, I want Genie to produce a 3D model of modern headphones, that's gun middle in color, and one that's ultra realistic and see what it can produce. So I'll go ahead and press enter. Now that the prompt has been entered, it is generating. And here are the results. It always gives you four to choose from for different variations. And if you click once, you'll get a better feel and look in terms of what it produced. Now, don't judge it by its cover just yet because what you can actually do is refine the choice that you want. So for instance, let's say you like choice number two. All you need to do is refine two and then that will give it more texture and make it more realistic. If you wanna take a look deeper and further, simply choose the one that you want. Let's say number two, and we're going to click number two there, and it says leaving Discord, that's fine. Click on visit site. And then it will take you to this viewer where you can zoom in. You can also use your mouse to simply drag and check out the 3D model. You can also change the variation from number two to number one and we've got three here which i don't think is a headphone and there are a couple of other things you can play around with here we've got default uh, plastic texture look we've got a metal look like so and this custom one where you can change the metal range the level and the roughness and the tint but to show the difference between one that's non-refined and one that's refined i produce this one uh, beforehand so this is the first variation when i entered that prompt and i selected number one for genie to refine and here's the result as you can tell there's more detail here there's lighting there's shadows and the texture just looks a bit more realistic even though it is 3d model so from something like this, which looks quite blurry, quite mushy to this. So more realistic and at least compared to the other one. One thing that Genie doesn't do well, and it's actually stated on the Genie prompt guide is what it can't do well, which is composition of multiple objects. It works better for individual objects. So if you're going to render and get 3D models of multiple objects, it's best to prompt each individual uh, object and then put it all together using a 3D rendering software. But back to the prompt, if you have decided which of the variations you'd like to refine, you can simply click on refine. Let's say number two. Number two looks probably the best out of all of them and we'll click once. What will happen is they'll go in a queue and you'll see under Genie Refine Channel, right there at the bottom, you see it is running and it will be in queue. May take up to 20 minutes as stated. But once done, you will get a finished product like the one you're looking at right here. But there we go, friends. That's how you can generate 3D models from text prompts. Hope this was insightful and you've learned a new thing or two. Do check out Luma Labs Genie down below in the description box so that you can start using this to make some 3D models. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.